Yo, it's Monday, and welcome to the Monday Mid. So I'm your co-host, Kev, a.k.a. Buckeye City Soul, and we have a great show planned for you today. Ma looks like he was frozen for a second, but let me go ahead and pass it to Mr. Graybeard himself, the king of sneaker con Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that. Somebody might get mad. What's good? It's your boy Polos and Jays. As he said, fresh off sneaker con Dallas weekend, and I tied. But I'm here tonight to talk about it and everything else that went on in sneakers. With that, I'm going to pass it over to my light skin friend. What's going on, usual suspects? Your boy Morley Moore here, leader of the Light Skin Legion, ready to kick it off for, with another great episode of the Monday Mid Soul. Let's get it going, fellas. Let's go. All right, let's uh, get into what's in. What's in the box? Spots were by. Uh, he ain't here, so we're not giving him that plug. So, <laughs> <laughs> this is where we talk about the shoes that we picked up this week. And then uh, if somebody has it pulled up, is able to share it, we can go through and see what's coming out this week. Uh, what y'all get? Uh, I, okay. I guess I'll go first. Hold on. Okay. So uh, my first pair of Vans, you know, okay. it's, it's, it's birthday time. Got a fresh pair. Of vans, so yeah, I'm, I'm hyped Skinny about wearing vans them. And some vans. Man, you already know how we do it. Uh, got the shadow 2.0s, and and again, I'm uh, different from everybody else, but I like these better than OG. Mm. Uh, another birthday gift, Tiffany Dunk highs. I had to go on, go on, finally grab them after wanting them for a while. Came in today, birthday gift. Your birthday don't ever stop. Never stop, man. Yeah. It's until until uh what June first. May is mine, but got the uh the vape <laughs> and Adidas uh collab on the uh superstars. Man, I, I love this shoe. I mean, it's it's so dope in hand. It's it's a, it's a really making me really want to go back to start wearing shell toes again. And last but not least, the shoe I call shoe of the year. The Jordan 3, Armand Monnier. Just super dope, man. Super dope. That's all I got. Yeah, you weren't on last time. No, nah, I ain't been on in a couple of weeks. All right, Ma? You alive? And he froze, froze again. <laughs> <laughs> With his eyes closed. Yeah. There you know. go. No, it looks back. good here, and then it spins real quick. I don't know what the hell's going on, but I got the Shadow 2.0. As well, I won't go as far to say I like them better than the OGs, but it, it was a must have. Uh, got the Jordan 1 Chicago, the KOs, okay, or sneakers dub. So I had these a while back, it was at the 2014 pair, and now, and now he's frozen again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Well, why are you frozen? Let me. What the hell is going on? Oh, back. I think it's some squirrels, man. <laughs> squirrels froze again. Nigga froze again. All right, let me let me highlight the chat real quick. We got Rice Go eighty KB Fresh Kicks Skate the Great Man. We had a great time this weekend. Here. Kick flip, kick flips two one four. Also kicked it with us this weekend. Kitty Soul, who was also with us this weekend. Uh, KB Fresh, who we did not see. Hop Dog was good, my brother. Uh, Skinner, what's happening? You're and that's who I see at this time. You show all your like, what's going on? No, there I did know. not. Okay, um, let's, let's go ahead and continue. <laughs> I got a Curry Six PE family business. He had these 2019 All Star. Uh, so I grabbed these from eBay. I had a credit, so paid minimal out of pocket. I don't cop too many Curry. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> That we're on 20 Eight megabytes of free too. I just, I just did a speed no. test to check it. No, <laughs> so it keeps going, and then you guys say something, and then it spins. It's ridiculous. Anyhow, <laughs> before I get cut off again, I'm just gonna go upstairs and just call it a night. <sighs> this is my other pickup. All right, <laughs> you got that skip internet. Skip. <laughs> 
All right. Well, speed test is good. My data says I'm good. It's what's just your, a sign uh, that I got to get. So. What's your up? What's your upload speed? Let's see. Hop says Ma doing a mannequin challenge. <laughs> I, don't know what that's, I don't know what that's going on, but I'm about to get real aggy. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna show. I, I only got a couple things. I too got the uh, two point oh's. Mine are right now in. Uh, <laughs> they're in repair right now. I had a weekend that I shouldn't have wore them. I did. Long story. We're not gonna get into it, but you know. They are uh, listed in critical right now. <laughs> so I did get these. Um, I really like these a lot. Uh, I, I, these should have been the actual LeBrons that came out instead. of. I don't really care for the regular. The lows are where it's at for me. These and then um, the new pair that dropped. Well, they didn't drop yet, but they were su supposed to. What's up with the LeBron watch? Because don't nothing drop on the 23rd. They don't tell you what's going to drop. They just drop it. Nothing came. I thought it was the uh, oh, to be the low. Wrong. The low. The low was supposed to drop, and then they said it wasn't going to drop until June something. What's happening? That, uh, IBA. IBA. Well, Ma, um, <laughs> you there? You had to go on your phone, player. Let's see. Having issues. Marcus, you know how to pull up. You got. You want to pull up the uh, releases? I don't know if I. I might. Be able to. Man, you already know my internet. Let me see what I can do. What What do you guys look up? I uh, hey, who do I go to? Uh, what is it? Kicks. Hey, hold on. Let me see. On fire. Yeah, kicks on fire is who I go to. I mean. There you go. Let me. Back, Why are you pulling that up? Good. I'll say he gave me the second pair of the UNC ones on Saturday. I did see that. Yeah, I didn't see Congrats, nothing bro. about that until everybody else hit. Man, I didn't even look. I, I wasn't even gonna look at uh at any kind of shoes. All right, we got. Let me see if I can share. Ma. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me go up to this one here. Screen two. All right. Yeah. Don't mind. Uh, don't mind what I look at in my search history. It's my business. <laughs> um, so today, do we have? Did these come out today? The uh, Air Jordan Eight GS Arctic Punch. I don't know if they dropped or not. They didn't have them. Marcus, they didn't have more stickers. No, nah, I wouldn't. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. <laughs> Marcus, man, you know you like the pink joint. I like the one that's after this. Definitely. Did, did you cop these? Did, did these drop? Which ones? Nope. The uh, pink threes. They drop on uh, Saturday. This coming Saturday. Okay. And they're going up to what? Uh, women's 12? I saw somebody that had a a women's 15 listed. Oh. I can't remember who it was, but somebody had a... It was either a GOAT. It might have been GOAT, but somebody had a women 15 listed on their page. Well, <coughs> Maybe that was Kicks Crew. I don't know. Ooh, Nike might be trying to block that one. Uh, Adidas Yeezy Boost 380 Alien Blues. I kind of like these. Of course you do. I mean, I'm not buying them, but I kind of like them. You're saying that now, but you've said that in the past about other ones, too. No, nah, man, I'm watching my finances, man. I feel you. Watch, watching my finances. So then we uh, we also have the Air Jordan 6 Electric Green. Are These, these aren't coming out this weekend, are they? Yeah. They are? Yeah, they're on sneakers. Hmm. You getting them? Mm -mm. No. Nah. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass, too. It's a pass for oh, me. Hold on. He, got, he came in. Ma, you there? We yeah, got I jumped you. on a different Wi-Fi. I was getting pissed off. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, then we got the DTLR New Balance 992. Nine, <laughs> Discover mm -hmm. and Celebrate Club. What you guys think about these? Hmm. It's not bad. I mean, I, I I do like the 992, but... They're boring, man. Yeah. I can't get jiggy to that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have the uh, New Balance Everybody's Welcome Collection celebrates Pride Month. Marcus? I mean, I, I am prideful. Are you going to get them? No. 
right. I mean, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm, it looks like style, though. Like, I'm waiting on Nike to show what they pride my shoes gonna be. Yeah, I, I don't have pride some, some, some jean shorts, <laughs> <laughs> tank top. You know, look, man, I don't, I don't have to be gay to support. Oh no, you don't. You don't. You know, Not so, at all. You so, don't. I, I will support. Thank all you very right. much. <laughs> All right, man. We, we leaving that alone. Uh, official <laughs> uh, Nike Air Force One low pixel white zebras. No, no. no. <laughs> Air Max what was that XC first use. What do you guys think about these? It's a little different. No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> metallic gold shines. No oh, metallic. Nope. All right, next. Yeah. New booties. Uh, <laughs> women's laser orange dunks. Uh, I would go after them. I doubt I hit, but I'll go after a pair. Yeah, they're not bad. They're not bad. And then Can't you got the. Uh, Are these actually dropping this week? I don't know, man. It's got everything for the twenty four. Uh, I, I think I don't think on sneakers, but I think they might be dropping like at Foot Locker and stuff. I think. Nah, uh, my sneaker dudes. I'm trying, I'm trying to see what's going on. Oh, well, go ahead. You pull it up. You pull yours up because mine is. Uh, I think mine is showing everything for today, and it ain't all coming out today. So, copy, copy. Let me unshare. Unshare that ish. You got two Wi Fi's. I do. It's called a phone. Uh, when all else fails, <clears throat> we got the um. Bucket of Tears that came out today, the Nike SB, what the P Rod? Yep, missed. <sighs> yeah, it's an L. It is what it is. I'm numb. I don't give. I don't give enough. Yep. Um, we got oh the Star Times Adidas Rivalry High, uh, aka Marcus's chest hairs. Whoa, <laughs> Chewbacca! You got that, Kenny? <laughs> woo, woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> what do you? What do y'all think about these though? It's a cop. No, any Star Wars individuals? In the house, I would cop them. No, I don't know if I would would cop them. No, some top 10 highs C3POs. Nope, nope, they look like uh, like a Lamar Latrell. (laughs) (laughs) You know, it's it's, Lamar, Lamar (laughs) Latrell, Nike Dunk Low Women's in a White Green Glow Sunset Pulse. I like this, not gonna front. Mm. Good luck on them uh, AF ones, Hop. All the postal service. Made. Yeah. Oh, word. Human made times Adidas pure slip on. Ooh, them look like uh, jail shoes. Lord, <laughs> <laughs> Lord, <laughs> I can't unsee that. Uh, Vapor Max, moving right along. Waffle ones. <laughs> mm. Moving right along. New Balance fifty seven forty. Mm, don't need them. Nah. Y'all messing with them uh off road nah. track? <laughs> them uh S and M's, treadmills, Gimp. Rust Factor, MM Dub, four fifty though. Good Lord of Mercy. Gimp tanks. <laughs> kind of dope though, man. Mm. <sighs> okay. I'm just saying. I'm they just make you run faster. Cool. I don't know. They just kind of they have a different look. I got a built-in treadmill. You don't even got to run anywhere. You stand, <laughs> stand still. Anywho, Nike Air Force One Low, buck twenty. Mm-mm. Waffle One, Waffle oh. One, Carhartt Converse, Chuck Seventy High and Low. Mm-mm. All right, we got some Dodges Air Force One Highs. Mm-mm. Nope. Air Force One low, postal mm-hmm. ghost. No, no hop. Good luck to you, hop. You're not gonna, you're not gonna try for him. No, I am. I'm with the one name in a, I'm with the one name in a hat. Why not? Yeah. What's the worst thing that's gonna happen? You get him. Oh, yeah. Then I don't get something I want. Hey, Amen. It is what it is. Nike Air Force One. No. E- EMB. No. No. Mm-mm. No. Okay. Nike Dunk High. Like I'll try. I try for these. Yeah, yeah I'm not about these. Just eh, I'll try to, but anywho, yeah, they're kind of like mids. I ain't gonna lie. 
Mm. Like <laughs> it's all it's to me, it's all gonna depend on what that leather looks like when you get it in hand. Because the colors you'll know when you'll get it in hand. See, that might be never. The color doesn't even look oh, like it goes it. with the Lakers, though. It's not even the right color little, yellow. Yeah. It's got a little volt action to it. Yeah. It's like it's a perfect volt. Right. But they put the uh I think on the back, the back of the shoe has like the Lakers font or whatever. Well, the Nike joint right there, you can see it's got like the Laker, mm -hmm. the Laker look to it. Look at the wrong damn color. Why they do that, man? Mm -hmm. um, I don't get it. Maybe you so don't gotta pay. It. Don't gotta pay the Lakers. Yeah. Different why you use the font. <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> True indeed. <laughs> uh do we do we still talk about phone posits? Nope. Next. Okay. <laughs> man, these people still love foams, man. All right, we got some foams, damn it. USA foams. They who's might buy these. Suspects, who's copping? They're not bad. No, right. I'm not buying those. I'm going to get rid of my foams. Somebody want them. Casablanca, New Balance. We talked about these New Balances. We got some Griffies in the house. Yep, I oh, want those. Oh. I want those. No, 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 no. no. Coming no. on my birthday. Okay. Hey. Happy birthday to me, man. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Get them. Now we're jumping into May. Let's get into some Jordans right quick. Let's see what's coming out in the Jordan tip. So we talked about the, the threes, Russ Pinks. That's the 28th. Uh, these Bloodline mids. Oof. Why? <laughs> Those are... Uh, IBA steady. Oh, you need them what, what, what? On the phones, ain't it? <laughs> they ain't. <laughs> nah, stop that. Um, coconut milks. <laughs> I did said he cop three of these joints. What? Oh. Yeah, that's what he said. He said he cop three of these. Oh no, it's a nice colorway. Okay, <laughs> I didn't cop. I'm just saying. Just, he didn't cop them in his size, them. though. Oh well, I mean, <coughs> I they got resale. I they still they were they oh. were chilling on the app for a minute. Mm -hmm. It's a nice colorway. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, that color is dope. Jordan 2 Delta. Mm -mm. No, I'm not messing with those. You got to come out with an all red pair. I might buy them for $100. Zion. Marion. Nope. Zion. I think Ooh. the more I see that shoe, I dislike it even more. It, it, yes. Yes, indeed. It's uh, falling into the Chris Paul and uh, Westbrook status. Hold on. Was it? I told you they were just glorified CP3s, man. Don't nobody want to listen to them all. <laughs> I was trying to give them a chance. Anyway, no chances here. Air Jordan one low spades. Hmm. Stop it. <laughs> All right. Here, here's the actual date if you want the Air Jordan 8 Marcus Punch. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> You're not getting these? There you go. You can... All right. It's <laughs> a men's colorway? Like for real? What is, is it? Per purple periwinkle? Post, blue? <laughs> I know. Hey, it's each their own. Well, yeah, you know, people rock stuff. No, Save it for Easter. You're not wrong. Wow, this is like just depressing. All right. Yeah, them some more prison <laughs> shoes. Wow. <laughs> what you gonna put wow. on my books? Wow. Anyway, what's cop of the week? What's what's the pair? I know my pair. My pair is um, three. Your guesses. I'm three. I'd say if I was gonna cop anything, the Lakers, uh, the the dunk. <clears throat> Or the week, cop week. Yeah. Or the I need, I need them threes and I need to find them P rods and in a with a good price. Where are they going for it now? My size is like seven something. Mm. They got a dip. Five. No, baby. It might dip. No, I, I'm gonna get them P rods while they well shit. Now my size I went to eight fifty. Mm. I got I'm I'm gonna get them before they hit two K because they gonna hit two K. Mm. Yeah. So just get them now. No, I'm going to wait till everybody get their pairs in and a dip that day, and then I go back up. People need their money today. Yeah. I might go get them. I can't do it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to go this way. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to take a step back. Yeah. I'm, I'm shedding pairs. As you can tell by all these pickups, I'm trying to take a step back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to shed them. Man, they just look good in hand. Uh, 2J's had them at his booth. He was giving them away, mm. man. They just they look incredible in hand. Hmm. Well, yeah, yeah, you gotta don't do that to yourself, man. Know thyself. Stay away. Keep a distance. 
I gotta have them. I'm saying you already know. If you look at the phone and she texts you, you're like, damn, I might call her back. Just gotta, you just gotta get away, bro. We always answer. No, this fun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, let's get into our first topic. Moving at lightning speed. Let's go and let's right. just talk about the. Uh, let's go. Give us go a on, uh, recap, man. Yeah, Sneaker bro, before Con. your memory starts to fade. <laughs> Dallas. Let's talk about Sneaker Con, Dallas. You know, and, and the first thing I want to start off with is, you know, we've seen all the negativity, all the posts about the fights and all that kind of stuff. I didn't see the fights. They happened. It was fights both days, and it was more than what y'all saw. I mean, I think if there may have been two posted, but it, was, it was more than that. I mean, it was at least four why? fights this weekend. It was in there working. I don't, I don't know why. You know why? It just seemed like it, it, just seemed like it was some angry people there. You know what I'm saying? Nobody it's got just, like the post fight interview. Like, nah, shit. The cops came, man. Like yesterday, it was the cops was crazy. Sick. Yesterday, it was so many of them. Yesterday, the first day, it was cops, but yesterday, it was it was mad cops. But <laughs> man, outside of all of that, it was really sneaker con itself, not the outside stuff, but sneaker con itself was probably one of the dopest ones I've been to. Hmm. Let me let me let me break down why. For one, like the people who I was hanging with, pretty much everybody, it was their first sneaker con. So to actually see how they interacted and everything and see how they were with it was dope. I hung out with the Kick Squad and Kitty of Soul and it's a few other people. And, and of course, my boy uh, Skate was there. It was just, man, it was just mad love. It was so much love in the building. And I had no expectations of seeing any type of shoe tubers. I mean, we knew 2Js was going to be there. But, man, you think of anybody in Sneaker YouTube was there. The only person that probably wasn't there that got status is like, Mike Rich, Tony D, and Bullet RC. Everybody else was in there. I mean, Kusto was there. Kais was there, who wasn't supposed to be there. Uh, I mean, every, and with Jumpman Bostic wasn't there. You know, I left him off. But, man, everybody was there. It was people who I've never seen before at SneakerCon. You know, the new guy that's on the upcoming, Roscoe, was there. Damn, they seven feet tall. You know, you watch him on mm -hmm. YouTube, and he looked like he about 4'11". <laughs> but, uh it was just love, man. Everybody, I guess it was because we ain't had sneaker con in two years, right? You know, and people were excited to get out and see one another. And I mean, everybody showed love. I mean, outside of them fights, which is probably some ignorant Dallas folks who not even really in the sneakers, <laughs> probably just some people trying to resell some shit that they cop. It was, it was just all love, man. You know, and uh, shout out Trade Block. They had a dope event that they said they're gonna continue doing at every other sneaker con. You know, it was an invite only event. And man, they fed us. The bar was open. Your boy was drinking. If y'all saw me on live, I heard I was slurring a little bit. I mean, mm -hmm. I lost count after about seven drinks because the waitress kept bringing them. And it was just, it was just a nice get together of people, man. You know, you was able to mingle with. You know, it was what again. What, the cool part about it was the new people who in the community got to hang out with the vets, like you know, Kais and, and Break and Flight and. And blazing dairy and all that got to mingle with them so that really to me was like super dope you know what i'm saying so it was just a cool atmosphere man i mean the after party stuff we did with our little crew it was dope it was just dope man and you know and i got to hang out with the legend skate the great all weekend so what, what more can you ask for you know yeah man you know yeah. of course it was also kind of a somber mood because you know a lot of people had just found out about, uh, you know, I love swoosh and what happened. And a lot of people there were close to him. So that was kind of, you know, that could be why it was so laid back and loving because, you know, of the, the bad news we got, you know what I'm saying? So right. it was, it was, it was, like I said, as far as the event itself, it was really laid back. It was really, they had a panel at the end. They put together just because, but that it wasn't like, it wasn't like previous events where, you know, Kais or somebody would come up on the stage. It was just, Everybody just walking around mingling, you know. It was it was just love, man. I, I had a really great time. It was, you know, y'all know how I've been lately about coming out of culture all together. But this weekend showed me a lot of people showed a lot of love, man. That was dope. And then to top it off, the OG, the Trill OG, Bun B came through the building. And when my dude recognized me, and that, that's what was humbling so much, man. People who I admire was like, knowing who I was and that shit just like really just tripped me out. You know what I'm saying? And, and it wasn't me asking for him for a pick. He was like, Hey man, come over here and take a pick with me and shit. You know what I'm saying? That really like 
that made my weekend like for real. For That's real. dope. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, wow. You know, I mean, he stopped everybody and said, nah, let me let me take a picture with the OG. And then he left. <laughs> I was just like, damn. I know people want to whip my ass after that because I was like, who is this old nigga and shit? You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably hey, you know, his twin brother. They was out there ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, everybody, everybody was out there squabbing and shit. So, but man, it was, it was, it was, I had a really great time. I mean, the, the, the part about it that, you know, that sucked is not having y'all there because I always had those moments. I've never been to a sneaker con without at least one of y'all. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So this was the first one where I was like solo and it and it, I could feel it. You know, I felt that my brothers wasn't there with me. So that that part of it was kind of hard. That was that's what, why I really kind of didn't want to go. But, you know, it the people who came around me lifted it up and made me feel like, OK, we good. You know, that's so it was it was great, man. I had I had a lot of a lot of fun. Definitely. That's so weird. we man, now things are starting to open up. I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable. I'm vaccinated. So. You know, once uh, once we get one, we plan we can all go there uh, and yeah. make it happen. Yeah, Just yeah. got to do it in, in advance. You know what I'm saying? Because right. that that last minute purchase, whoo! Oh yeah, <laughs> five hundred dollars. And to top it off, man, it, they announced on at the end on Sunday that it was the largest attended sneaker con ever. Really? You know, and they've every every year in Dallas has been the largest, and and this year. We it was bigger than all the rest, and that's crazy that's considering it rained the whole weekend. Plus, with the COVID, people still came out. So yeah, yeah. everybody gonna get it. It was crazy. <laughs> everybody get it. Yeah, shit, we all gonna be sick at the end of the week. Shoot, because ain't nobody wearing no mask. I see your story is giving me anxiety. I'm like, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had several blue moons this weekend, my brother. Several. Blue yeah, moons. they uh. <laughs> they just I think they just took took off the mask mandate here. So yeah. I just got a, a thing like a couple minutes ago that said that they voted to get rid of it. So I mean at the end of the day, I mean there's people you go in the store, some people won't be having it on anyway. So I just wear I just <laughs> wear it just so people don't look crazy at me. Marcus, you waited in line. I don't even know why I keep telling my business like that, man. Yeah, man, I had to wait. Because it wasn't, I, I didn't know the dudes this time. Man, they, they hired some local people working the door. And I didn't get there in time to, get, okay, let me, let me speak on the vendor part. You know, in the past, we just walked to the vendors and we'd be like, we whoever. And they'd be like, oh, yeah, bet, and let us in. Mm -hmm. And they like that. Now vendors get two tickets per table. Ooh. So it's just like, outside of that, I didn't, I mean, you know, uh, Mrs. Jones kicks was in and I was going to have her come get us. By the time she came to get us, we had already went through the line. So, I mean, the line moved fast, but yeah, it, that's the first time I stood in line. And stick Did you have to pay? I had, yeah, I had already been bought my ticket, but yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I had to, I had to stand in line. It was, it was kind of depressing. To be in end line. of an era. Don't y'all tell, don't y'all tell nobody. <laughs> we gonna tell oh, nobody good. else. <laughs> no, nah, that's just, that just goes to show how humble you are. You want to be you man of the people. You want to be in line with everybody else. I appreciate that. No, nah, I want to be around them niggas are coughing and sneezing. <laughs> 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 it was at the same uh, place. Yeah, it was at the same place. They were just in a different room. Yeah. And you're right, IBA. You got to show up early and know who to ask for. But like I say, this time vendors only had one or two passes because I knew half the vendors there, but. They already had their passes passed out. So, and and they had, again, they had some local Dallas people working the damn door and stuff. So, then how I saw Will, Will was there. Alan didn't show Alan, up. Alan was, was no there. Way. Alan was there, but I didn't see him until Sunday when it was time to go. I think I seen Will break up a fight. Might have. That yeah, did I think, look like I him. Think that I definitely did. saw him on stage. Yeah, I think it was some, uh, some two dudes that was scrapping. <laughs> yeah, it, it was. It was a lot of scrapping and shit, man. Wait, too bad we don't have the video because old girl put the <laughs> yeah that, she, moves, that that yeah. that was that was type funny. She got out of it. She put her legs up. I was like, whoa. Mm -hmm. She, yeah, she was. She took a couple shots before she did that though. Yeah, she was that, getting. She was getting. That was some up. WWE shit, boy. Yeah, Molly whopped. <laughs> yeah, she was getting. Mm -hmm. She was getting pieced. And I, like, I don't know. I wonder what they started fighting over. Like, you know what? What has you fighting over some stuff like that in a place where you're not gonna see nobody ever again? Well, IBA. Next time I go to sneaker con, I'm gonna say I'm IBA sneakerhead. Let me in. 
<laughs> you can say that gazelle girls in the <laughs> Boston Crab. <laughs> she, she, <laughs> for real, for real. Man, she had that reverse button on him. Or uh, Karana. <laughs> Man, that shit, that shit was funny as hell. Uh, that right, was to watch. Let's go ahead and uh, you want to hit the next topic or? Next. Yeah, why not? Next, Nike working with Homeland Security to stop fakes. So, some hmm. people are not going to be able to do their their uh their, their reviews con- yeah their reviews of fakes anymore um yeah Fans what y'all gonna think? come get you how you get these yeah like they should have been done this though fox like, so the article that i read said nike was donating proprietary technology uh which will be able to identify counterfeit sneakers which lets me know that they could have done this you know eons ago um why they're doing it now, I don't know. That's that's probably one of the biggest questions I have. Um, I know there's been more and more headlines around the billions of, of fakes that have been floating around and, you know, which pair they didn't seize at the port of Newark or, or wherever. Um, but I don't know. I, do you guys think that this will actually, you know, limit the amount of counterfeit and fakes that, that enter U.S. borders? <sighs> I don't know because I think people the, the problem is people can order fakes without having to do anything. I mean, you can go on a website and order a pair of fakes. You can go on Wish and order a pair of fake Walmart. Yeah. So I mean they're not stopping that. I think what they're probably trying to do is stop the the big ones from coming in and filling up a consignment shop. <laughs> Or I mean, people mm-hmm. can can buy them and slow leak them into you know StockX and things like that. But I think that right. what happened was probably maybe they got some pressure from StockX because I mean that secondary market is important to them because that that determines the amount of hype or you know clout that value is important to them. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> if they give the, if they give the technology to you know StockX Goat. So they can, you know, you can guarantee that. I mean, they probably paid Nike for that opportunity to do that because that helps their business out. And, you know. Listen, Nike is like a politician. Mm -hmm. They tell us what we want to hear and we believe it. And they never come through what they promise. Never. If you think about this, this story kind of goes back some years ago where we discussed how they were supposed to put a stop to fakes coming over over here and doing all these you know whatever they do with homeland security and the fakes got worse what what happened with that you know just like with the whole what was what is it called when they started making the shoes better a few years ago like when the uh the uh the fours dropped and they had the better quality and they was all our jordans from that point on was supposed to be great quality and that shit lasted what four shoes man they keep telling us these things and then they they don't come through with it so why even why even put in a stock in it? You know what I'm saying? Just Nike stopped lying to us. You're supposed to stop the bots. You're supposed to make it easy for us to get kicked. You're supposed to stop the fakes. Y'all ain't done shit. It's probably yeah. to pacify shareholders too, because I mean Man, them shareholders. They wanna they wanna they wanna maximize as much Board as members. Yeah, they, they wanna, that's right, Skate. Remaster. Yeah. Okay. yeah, they want to get as much as they can, you know, from from their products. And I mean they think that people buying fakes is taking away from that. Um, which I mean, if you if you didn't limit it all of them as much and you know you sell more but Nike don't care scared, but um it said it Nike don't care I mean not at all I mean depending on which article you read they they cite the um the Warren the whole Warren Lotus and, and all that other jazz um obviously a lot mm-hmm. of dunks have been faked and things like that and you've got quote unquote custom so you know maybe it's come to a head and they realize they have a problem and they want to try to do something about it <laughs> um but going like after Warren things. Lotus and custom does you know custom that's that's mm-hmm. not that's not important in all honesty. I mean because we know what a Warren Lotus is, mm-hmm. so go after the people that are making these replicas, these UAs that look just like the shoes that we want. Let, let Warren Lotus do his thing, man, because he really is not hurting your bottom dollar. Let these guys who are making these custom shoes do what they do. Go after these people that are making the the shoes and selling them to us like we're buying some authentic merchandise, right? Right. That's what matters to us, but what matters to Nike is protecting their intellectual capital. Oh, so man. if if that's going to light a fire under them to go against fakes and counterfeit, then go ahead. That'd be great. 
Um, if it's just wordsmith, then I, I really don't care. Like I, I limit the amount of resale that I buy at this time because of it. I have no trust in the system. I don't care who's authenticating it. You know, what kid you didn't put off the street. I don't trust it. Like, so, uh, I'm taking a totally different approach, which is why nine times out of 10, if I miss something, it's just gone. Like, I'm not trying to pay the resale or anything like that. I'd rather pay early to know I'm getting it from, uh, you know, a reliable source. Right. Yeah. I do. I'd rather do the same too. Um, yep. But yeah, I mean, I'm definitely taking a, a step back, and I'm I mean that this time, and I have got I've, mm -hmm. I've gotten rid of a few pairs already. Um, you go kind of, you know. So have I. I got. I, gotta, I mean, I got. Marcus is mad about. I, I got. Uh oh. It's like what? Hmm? I, I posted in our chat that I had sold a certain pair, and you were like, "Thumbs down," blah 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 blah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, stop selling all of this. Uh, let it go, whatever, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start letting some more go, man. I mean, it, it's just to the point where I mean, let it fly. Space, space is a an issue, and then you know, I'm starting to dip my toes into the, you know, into the into the market or whatever. But I'm not gonna go too bananas with that. Uh, but I just like to kind of mess around with it. I mean, if you you know, if it dips down, it dips down. You don't lose until you take your money out. So I know Ethereum took a shit. <laughs> so the Doge too, man. Doge took a shit, but I mean, it's still mm -hmm. better than what I bought it at. Um, but yeah, a lot of them are, whew. and there's just so many of them, man. It's just, you know, you, somebody's like, oh yeah, I got a tip on this. But we ain't not gonna get too far into that. But it's it's interesting to me. It's just something different to learn. And yeah, I think that you know when you're in the sneakers, it's a it's an addiction. And in order to get past that addiction, you find another one. So you know, mm -hmm. you know, like not gonna I'm not gonna invest what I invest in sneakers in the market. <laughs> but you know, here and there, sure. a couple dollars. Like yeah, I should. I just have to, I just want to be more, uh, I don't know. I just want to know. Yeah. I just want to, you know, I got to watch some things first to see what was happening and, and kind of understand a little bit better. So right now, I mean, I got the, I don't know. I have like three different apps. I'm trying to figure out how to get this coin that is just impossible to get. But I think I might've found a way to do it. I just got to wait for this, this transaction to clear. So, KB said he'd rather get raped early. I mean, what you like? You like morning rapes <laughs> in the yeah. evening? Yeah, well, sometimes you get raped early, and that stuff come down and be right around retail. No, listen, it happens. I've copped um, the bacon's. I paid you know early price and locked those in, and th those didn't do anything. I just actually, I just doubled back on another pair at at cost. So like, it is what yeah, it is. Go. That'll happen. What the difference? I mean, I sit on things for so long. Eventually, they come back up. You know, it might right. take a while, but shit, it's just sitting in some dark corner of my closet anyways. It is what it is. Right, right. Nothing wrong with that. All right, so let's hit this uh, let's hit the last one, and then, you know, we can do some freestyle, I guess. Freestyle. You know yeah. So, Foot Locker closing foot action. Oh, no, say it ain't so. Bye-bye. Foot, -bye. Foot, foot action is not really that uh, prevalent here. We have one foot action in the Hood Mall, and... Uh, that's that's what it was for, it was right? Like urban lifestyle. Yep, so. Yeah, so so the way they had it structured previously, right? Uh, eBay was like magazine now online source. Foot Locker was supposed to be for like the masses. It used to be in, in nicer malls. Foot Action was, was street champs of sports. That's how they had everything segmented. Now shit don't matter, bro. They all right, run on the same, the same app. Everybody knows they use the same server. It's just it's fluff. You know what I'm saying? So right. You know, I wouldn't be surprised that they if if champs or you know what i'm saying like if that's the next one to go down uh depending on how profitable or not these locations are and as companies in general think to you know be more digital right creating that digital experience the same way nike is the need for brick and mortar is going to decrease you know more and more so uh retail in and of itself the way we we think of it you know probably this is the beginning of a, a pretty seismic change overall Right. I mean, I could see a lot of brick and mortars just kind of disappearing, um, especially with Nike wanting to, you know, sell directly. Uh oh, <laughs> with, <laughs> I was telling me to drink more water. Um, yeah, with Nike wanting to go more the direct route, 
you know, they they're going to have to get rid of some of these uh, stores. And plus, I mean, you look at it. I mean, these stores are all in the same mall. You got a foot action, a champs and a mm -hmm. foot, you know, foot locker all in the same spot. You know, especially when you can't hire people to to work right now. You know, it's tough to find. It's tough to find people to come in there and work. So, um, you know, get rid of them. It's, it's, it's going to be a, I mean, I, I don't know how they're going to do as far as like the inventory, but I know like here foot action is the go-to store to get the kicks. I mean, because mm -hmm. our, we have two major foot action here that get more pairs than any store in Texas. So that, that, I don't know if that's going to hurt us or what, you know, I mm -hmm. mean, we're going to all be chasing kicks at foot locker going forward. So that's, that's definitely going to be a problem here, you know, just, but we knew it was coming. I mean, doesn't matter. You have flex points. Man, mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't got number sixty thousand points, and that gets you absolutely nothing nowadays. Yeah, I ain't got nothing. You a minnow, dog? For real. Not What's good, my great. kicks? What's, what's happening, bro? But uh, yeah. I, I mean, my thing is, why why wouldn't you have shut down champs? Champs doesn't get any mm -hmm. of the you know of the exclusive shit. You know why why not go after champs? Let foot action and foot locker do their thing. That's how I feel about it. But but I guess you gotta look at how many stores each one of them has. Like, so there might be more champs than there is foot actions, or vice versa. It mm -hmm. depends on you know how, how you want to get rid of it. And as you said, with the urban community, they're trying to get rid right. of them stores out them urban yeah. areas. To, uh, you know, you just hit the nail on the head, bro. It's a demographic. I'm saying so. white folks still shopping at champs, so that's why champs still open. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they can yeah, sell yeah, all yeah, the NMDs. You know what I'm saying? So, that do make sense. Yeah, so our champs is kind of weak. We have, oh, man, I think we have two. Fun. No, we have three here. We have three three champs. There's a footlocker at every mall. And there's footlockers that are not even in the mall. So footlockers yeah. is a big have two or three footlockers, bro. Yeah, our mall has level. a footlocker, footlocker kids, and a lady footlocker. Right. Well, I'm not even talking about like the different gender wise or or like i just mean like straight up multiple foot lockers huh and we ain't got that shit we and they just remodeled our foot actually just made it a huge ass tour that's crazy it take up a whole corner of the mall and the malls are they about to fade away that's true so i mean eventually you probably have them all on the um online and then everybody's gonna be weeping <laughs> you know that's when you get some stock in uh fedex yeah <laughs> FedEx, you're right like, man, you never yeah. had nothing never unless you're in the air max we're in the air max you probably in the air max at, at uh champs champs you can get jordans at champs i mean yeah you can but like i always go into champs and i see air max sitting i don't never see no jordan sitting yeah, I think like our chance will have like a random like one pair every now and then that you know that doesn't get claimed that just kind of sitting there. Um, but yeah, I don't even, I don't even go to the malls anymore because it doesn't make any sense for me to go. Because if this what I want is not going to be there, yeah. unless it's like something like new like the LeBron like the eighteens, I'll probably get those. But you know. Let's go ahead and freestyle something. What y'all want to talk about, man? Y'all want to talk about what you got? What you got? I want to talk about sneaker battle. What kind of questions y'all got, chat? What y'all? What y'all want to know about? Oh, real, let's get lively. Right. Yeah, let, let What's us know. What's the double the year? Not not the sneaker of the year. What's the double the year? Like, I'm saying, like you got for retail. What's your retail pickup of the year? No, nah, here's here's my question, chat. How many flex points y'all got? Y'all put y'all flex points in there. Flex points in. <laughs> <laughs> Your email flex your flex. Let me, yeah, let me see your flex so I know who to call when I need a size flex 11. Your flex. Hook your brother up because I hook you up, so you got to mm -hmm. hook me up too. Yeah, I don't have enough to do anything, so <laughs> man, it's crazy. What what was it called before it was called Flex? I guess it was just a Foot Locker app or whatever. But yeah, I liked it when the Foot Locker, man, you know, you could hit it. I don't know, it was um, Platinum, but whoa, whoa, was it Platinum? Well, that was the status that you got. Your status, it was like platinum, right? And that would allow you to then get the head start. Now, right. see, IBA said so he got one hundred and forty thousand, but he hit on everything. So, how does that work? I don't know, because I got, I think some of mine, uh, 
just fell off though. I was using mine today on the pink threes, and now I'm down to like 60k because hmm. I use it on all three. I use it on all three of the apps, so I'm down to 60k now. Yeah, mine. And you know that's just a donation. <laughs> Donation. Yeah, that's Donation. all it is. I'm just, I'm just giving them back the points that they gave me that I worked so hard yeah. for. It's crazy though, man. Because how did they expect you to get two million points or whatever when you can't hit shit? That's what I'm saying, bro. No damn sense. One hundred thirty-six k. The brunch, the brunch in Dallas, Kev. It was cool. It wasn't a large turnout, but the people who came were dope. You know, again, we had uh, my kick sick came out, Swagu. Uh, gentleman Eric off from the Kick Squad came through. Uh, Jeezy came through. I forgot about. I forgot to mention Jeezy because that was dope that he came through. Because he wasn't even in town for Sneaker Con, but he came through the uh, the brunch and kicked it with us. Uh, but it was dope, man. We had some great food. My Kick Sick he bought uh, wings for them at the whole table, so we was eating up on the wings. Skate the Great came in and ordered his own plate of wings, and then I bought some mm. monkey bread, which uh, most people have. Y'all heard of monkey bread? Yeah. Yes, okay, sir. it's like a, it's like a, is it cinnamon or it's got like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so a lot of people skate hadn't had you know monkey bread do before. It? Yeah, so we bought, we bought, a, I bought a big old thing of monkey bread and shit, man. They ate that shit and fell in love with it. Skate, skate, I almost took the whole uh pan of what was left. <laughs> he tasted it, but uh, yeah, the brunch, the brunch was dope. Man, the wings brunch. are expensive now, man. They said there was a wing shortage. <laughs> And that's yeah. that's what Mel Skate said. He was just because our wings was big. I mean, he was like, man, they don't make my wings like that in uh in LA. I'm like, we got you know everything bigger in Texas, man. We got bigger chickens. So yeah, I got hmm. them steroids, man. Boy, that's why I said that. Boy, <laughs> chickens got gym memberships. Uh, let me see. Let's see the secret ah. is to find out who works for Foot Locker. And put the put the sales under your yeah that 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 will work yeah that will work. I get random yeah. random sales somebody's definitely been hooking me up man I don't have nobody hooking me up it's not uh, it's far and few between but I'll notice like a random purchase I'm like I didn't buy any oh okay cool cool <laughs> yeah and based off the store I really, I, I know like what the deal is. Like, oh, <laughs> See them wings you got them flex points. That's probably the only thing you can get with the flex <laughs> point. You can get something that, that you don't get at Foot Locker. I, I think that Enter raffles. You could use like you could get like Twitch money with your flex account. I mean, that's just right. dumb. You can I just get gift shoot. cards, but it's like a stupid ratio. I don't yeah, know. Like, you get like ten dollars for a hundred thousand. <laughs> Just let me hit on at least one shoe a month. That's that's all I ask for. I mean, yeah, I would I would be cool with that. It's tough, but it's it's tough. the things are like, I mean, five dollars, then you got to find something to buy. You end up spending more money than you would have anyway because it's not the shoe that you would have bought anyway. So, yeah, I mean, let's like when them the other LeBron 18s go on sale, I might you know go in and scoop them up. They drop to a hundred dollars, and you know what I'm saying I might because they're they're actually they're pretty comfortable. Man. I'm pretty comfortable. And I got that that Air Max vibe, that uh, Air Max 90. Speaking of comfort, another thing I realized at SneakerCon this weekend is I'm too damn old to be walking around SneakerCon like we used to do back in the day. Woo. Man. I, I don't know if y'all saw that one picture where I was sitting on the floor and Mrs. Jones kicks me. I did. There. I'm like, if you don't get your ass off the floor. <laughs> like, I was tired. I'm like, shit, let me sit my ass down over here on this floor. My, I was tired. Get that funky flow. Man, I can be funky all they want. My ass was tired. I'm too old for that shit. I'm too. And then I got home and I realized, damn, you only took nine thousand steps and you feeling like this? Your ass, Man. your ass is out of shape. You gotta join Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness, holler at us. Let's see it. Mm-hmm. We doing a fit challenge. I'm about to. I gotta start going. I got my membership. I ain't go yet. Though. Man, IBA, mm-hmm. I show was hoping they would have had a hover around oh, that scooter. I would have been around there blowing the horn and shit. Just <laughs> you'd, have, yeah, like, you'd have had one of them jazzies. <laughs> take I'm, you gonna up go I'm gonna invest in me one of them. Give me, give me a hover around and put some, uh, put some uh, spinners on there. Oh man, <laughs> don't do it. Oh, uh, you know what we was talking about last week uh, in the chat that we said we was gonna talk about a show favorite candy. Oh uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes sir. Yeah, I so, might have to invest in a rascal hop. <laughs> <laughs> 
rascal. Everybody in the chat, yeah, we was talking about our favorite candy. Y'all put your favorite candy in the in the in the chat. Let us know what y'all favorite candy is. Ooh. Marcus got it. I think Kevin and I are the same. I think Marcus, you're the only one that's uh, the eyeball. <laughs> Man, Twix is the number one candy of all time. No way. No Twix way. Is no. Number one. Reese's Cups is number two, and Snickers is number Reese's. three. Reese's is number one. No. Reese's no. Number one. No. Twix. Hot like, dog. No. Hot dog. No. I'm telling you, when you, when your kids go trick or treating, mm-hmm. you rob the Reese's Cups first. Right. Twix would be after, you know. You, I go to Snickers before I go to Twix. I ain't gonna lie. And then, nah, and, nah. and then, um, them Haribo, them Haribo gummy bears is on point too. I don't know if y'all mess with those, but uh, nah, that's that's just nah. I mess peach with the her- rings. What is peach, peach rings? Peach, peach rings, rings are on point. Them joints are on point. Peach, peach rings. Know. They're like uh, they got the sugar around. They're like they're peach rings, and then they got sugar around them, and they taste right. like peach. Them joints is good. See, that's why I slick Rick, my boy. Yeah, those, those are addictive. You F around, eat, eat those so you get a stomach ache, though. There's no chill on, on the uh, on the peach rings. Oh, yeah, yeah it'll, it'll tear your stomach up. You can get enough he, of them. Oh, my goodness. He's talking about Bay Ruth. Don't nobody eat Bay Ruth. No, Bay. No, no. Old people eat Bay Ruth. Baby Ruth. <laughs> Henry's. Old Henry bar. Nestle. Um, Mars bar. That's a, that's a depression. That's, that's, that's a. Uh, the first protein bar is Yo Henry. <laughs> can, somebody send, as. can somebody send me some peach rings? Because I ain't I ain't never had that before. Man, they got them anywhere you, you go. never had peach rings. Orange slices, the fruit slices, them shits is crack. Yeah, orange slices. I'm talking, like yeah, I'm, I'm talking more. You go to your chocolate. grandma's house. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they be out. They be you out. can't have one. <laughs> Young, wild, and free. Them joints been sitting in the in the air collecting oxidation. <laughs> I went nah, G man too. I, I Green get the apple. Jolly Ranchers is, is is the shit. Green apple is, is dope, but cherry is the best. No, no, man. Yes, cherry is better. What no, you man, call no. it? Yeah, what you call it? Back. Nut rages. Taking it back. Pause. Yo, but but tell me, <laughs> uh, them what you call it? Every time I buy them, shits, they always melted. They don't last for shit. Yeah, uh, you never get a clean bar. The um yeah my, uh leak yeah th- those peach those are the peach rings and joints is fire. That's a Reese's cup. I gotta try that. Those in the potato chips. Yeah, he said them, the, uh, the video I posted. Them Whirlers originals. <laughs> Skate. That's what you're talking about. <laughs> Whirlers. <laughs> Stop it. Said, Come on you in the stigma around those. <laughs> You know, they, yeah. they be having lint, they be having lint and shit all on them and it's like oh, man. Stuck to them. Mm-mm-mm. Hey, I've I've had the uh, yeah, I, the video, the Albanese joints. My wife likes those. I mm. like the Haribos better. Ma, you take you you, you taking uh, take a jelly bean over um, a bear. No way. You writing no. all these candies down, Ma, so you can talk about them next. You writing all these down. Oh, you man, take jelly I, I bean? all that damn candy. J- jelly beans <laughs> over gummy bears. Bean over a jelly bear. Yep, over a gummy bear. I'll take a jelly uh, bear over a gummy right. bear. Chat, chat. Jelly beans are trash. Yeah, jelly beans are what you have when you don't have nothing else. That's eat. like eating. That's like eating licorice. Nah, bro. Yeah, licorice is uh, trash. Jelly beans. Nah, licorice is trash. That's why they don't give I jelly thought, beans away on uh, Halloween. Like jelly beans. Get some jelly bellies. Oh, uh, they got the. Uh, I mean, the only jelly gummy bears for Halloween either. What you talking about, bro? Yeah, yeah. They got them little Haribo joints that you can get. You know, I got some upstairs. Man, please. Man, gummy Child bears. Please. <laughs> gummy bears much better than jelly beans. No, I'll take a jelly bean over a gummy bear. I'm not a big fan of the gummy bears. <laughs> oh, damn, I'm getting roasted. <laughs> <laughs> jelly beans. The jelly bellies are all right. That, uh, <laughs> the jelly belly bell right. you get the you get the, the popcorn yeah. joint. And they got the Starboys uh the Starburst joints. Well, I just so really have fire. Nah, y'all, so. y'all are saying, um, yeah, gummies are way better. <laughs> I'm just saying what I would prefer over. I'm not a big gummy bear person, so it just is what it is. <laughs> Damn, Man. Skinner, calm down, bro. Is anybody out there eating them black and orange candies? Ooh. What black and orange candy? <laughs> you know, the kind that that It'd be the last candy in, in the bag. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think it's like I think it's like butterscotch or something. I don't know what the hell is in it, but like I mean they're like they're mm-hmm. light brown when you open them up, but yeah, it's like it's either a brown wrapper or an orange wrapper. I think those are the nastiest. I know candy. I know you talked about the yep, those yeah, those get thrown in those, the trash. 
Tootsie Rolls and candy corns are the worst. Candy corns not bad. Uh, candy corns nasty. I'll do I'll do a Tootsie Roll for nostalgic purposes. Remember like the other they had like the fruity joints, the little fruit, gonna, Flintstone. Yeah, joints. I mess with the, I mess with the fruities. You gonna oh. do a tootsie roll, Mo? Go on, do a tootsie roll for us. Right no, now. I'm not gonna do a tootsie roll. <laughs> <laughs> Turn to Shattered backboard candy. <laughs> <tootsie roll>. I... <laughs> so I don't know. I have to do another sampling. So we did 13 Reese's, my daughter and I. That's the video that I had posted for National Reese's Day, and still missed out on so many. Like somebody posted the pretzel joint, the potato chip one. Uh, you know, Kev, you mentioned the nut rages. There's the fast break. So like, I'm already thinking about how we're gonna step it up for next year, but. That was uh that was a fun one, you know. Yeah, them red fruity got the red fruities died a little bit. And the blue ones. And, uh, blue now and later's is on point too. I seen some old school, some nah, old man. looking now and later's. Like, where the hell was Peanut I? Chew, I was, I was at a place. I was at a place where, like, they were probably legit from the eighties. I don't even remember where it was, where I was, but I was like, yo, these. The packaging was like old school. You know how the old school packs used yeah. to come. We got a candy place here that all that candy is the old fashioned now ladies and all that old school. Okay. Shit you used to get. It's a dope little spot, man. That's a dope little spot. Little Brand candy up. candies. Little peanut chews. Oh yeah, you get the Chico stick. It's basically a butterfinger somebody <laughs> sucked all the strawberry <laughs> Kit Kat. Man, that sounds like some shit that sent me straight to the bathroom. Uh, I would I would mess like with I, I would mess with it. I'd mess with it. They got all types of different kinds. Um I think what in Japan Even where they got like lime, different, yeah, yeah. different uh flavors. Right. Um yeah, mambas mambas were good too. Bonkers used to be the shit back in the day. Y'all used to have them bon bonkers. It was like a fruit chew type candy. It was like different colors in the inside, like outside be pink, inside be red. Fortune cookie gum. I ain't never had that. Okay. How, where you get them at? Oh, well, how about <laughs> how about how about the candy cigarettes? <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah the yeah. ones that you could you could puff out, you could blow yeah. into them, and then it'd be like <laughs> you get one little puff, and that's it. Or they come out with the little pin joint. Nah, I was thinking more like <laughs> okay, candy yeah, the, okay. The they had the gum. Tip the yeah, they had the gum ones, Can't or the, they had the that was a cigar, yeah. right? That was not the gum on a cigar. Well, they had a gum one that was a cigar, but they had the gum that was rolled in the paper, and then you could blow into it, and it blow the mm. sugar out. Now oh, the gum, was, the gum was that big league chew that came in a pack like he was chewing tobacco and shit. Yeah, that was good too. Oh, that, that shit moment. was good. Yeah, that shit. <laughs> you know, play on the last. You only have but so many good chews. Yeah, my, my well, You only have but like so many good chews. Hold up, six <laughs> yeah, Skinner knows six what the bon bonkers. Yeah, y'all ain't mess with the bonkers, man. Yeah, I don't, yeah, six lights. Chip remember those? Yeah, I, six I remember six six. The can uh, the like the. M &M oh yeah, joints. I didn't like them six joints. Six. I didn't oh, like those. Come on, I think I I think I you know that was something that I tried like towards it because you know at the end of the candy bag you like shit. Let me eat these Junior Mints, <laughs> and then <laughs> you had those and like man these these don't taste like what I want them to taste like. You know they look like something and then they taste like something else. Like mm. somebody mixed in a bag of uh, M and M's and and Skittles. <laughs> oh, you know what I used to love? The uh the little caramel with the cream. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Come on. I forgot cow, what they used to call cow it. Tails? There you go. I I think that's what it was. There was two different brands, but I think that's like the we'll call it the the, uh, the street name. <laughs> Man, how y'all how y'all eat all this shit? And I'm the fattest one and I ain't never ate hard the fattest one. I, I, about I, as had a kid, bro. I had, I yeah, I had when now, my metabolism was right. Now <laughs> seriously, you can't eat that shit now, bro. I'm going to fucking diabetic shock. Shoot, man. He said Rolo. the LeBron lemonade wow. bubble. I haven't, I haven't tried that one. I remember Rolos. Yeah, them uh rain blows. Rolos, yeah. Rain blows used to be Rolos, man. You you leave them in your pocket. It was a yeah, they, yeah. They all <laughs> oh, for real. <laughs> That's you it. Left them in your pockets. It was that a had rap. no shelf life. And it, yeah, no and it shelf had life. That caramel in there too. Your pockets was done. Your mom be. <laughs> It's yeah. gonna say pause on the cream. Oh, man. <laughs> you remember that I, cream filling? I didn't, I didn't pause it. I didn't pause <laughs> it. You did. I could have no. I paused that. You were right on through it. I used to rock with Mentos. All right, too, double, man. double pause. Double pause. My kick said we can't use pause. pause. Anymore, so I, I stopped using pause this weekend. So why not? Why can't we? Because shit, we paused every damn thing that I've come. We, we had crab legs and shit, and we was just 
Because I uh, had said something about he was uh, eating them and looking at people in the eye. I, I was saying, you want to, <laughs> and we were talking about who was better at eating crab legs and getting the meat. And I was just oh, like, wow. I could pull out the whole meat. And I mean, it's just a conversation. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it went down here from you. This extra yeah. this weekend. Ooh, I, I mean, I wasn't extra, trying to, extra. I wasn't trying to be, but you know, you're talking about crabs, you're talking about meat and all that and pulling out. And it was just oh, like, Lord it, of mercy. And yeah, the juice is dripping down extra. your chin. So, yeah. <laughs> we had about 1,200 pounds. You finna catch a case. <laughs> so you ever, you up, ever eat a banana and stare directly in a man's eyes? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what, that's what Arnold Moore was just like. He was like, you look me right in the eyes when you talking about pulling out your meat. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, I thought you wanted that. <laughs> uh, he made old boy mad and comfortable. You didn't want that? So did he grab oh, you man. like this or did he grab you like this? <laughs> <laughs> like this or was it like this? Oh, oh, Lord baby. Have mercy. <laughs> Man, the Rolo shake. Uh, yeah. nostalgia. All right, we got well, you know, we we are at our time. <sighs> yeah, man, that was Fun good. Time. Fun time for sure. Yes, yeah, we, yes. we gotta we gotta have a, a freestyle one every show. Something next week, we're gonna talk about not, favorite, cereals. favorite cereals. Yeah, next week, cereal. That's cool. Ooh, that's tough. That is tough. Some some throwback, bring your throwback cereals, too. Yes, sir. You missed it. Hey, you missed to go back cereal. to hashtag, and now you got your hashtag joints. And uh, next week's hashtag, you gotta you gotta pose with your cereal box. All right, <laughs> I just bought a uh, LeBron Wheaties box. <laughs> there you go. Do people really eat Wheaties. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got, I got a box of those. That's why they put Jordan on that bitch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, he's coming out on. A, um, don't they have a? They have a. Uh, what the hell is the name of the movie now? I can't even think of it. Space Jam. Space Jam. They got a Space Jam cereal coming out. Oh, name of the movie is the NBA playoffs. Yeah, well, and hopefully they they don't <laughs> keep losing, man. Can't They're have not gonna this. lose, bro. Stop it. We can't have. They're not gonna this. lose. I need to, They're I not need, gonna lose. I need the ship again. I was like, man, I don't like that playing game, man. Because you could easily, you could that drop game too. Ass. Yeah, that's just play the this top. You can eight. look at the Warriors, bro. They busted, busted their ass to make it. They got the eighth seed in a normal year. They get in, you know what I'm saying, and. The NBA got two really good games in exchange for a really good series. Right. Fruity Pebbles is the truth. Fruity Pebbles is Cookie cinnamon, Crisp. cinnamon oh, toast crunch. Cookie Crisp. Cinnamon toast crunch is I could bang a whole box. We supposed it to depends talk about on the game. vibe you're going for. Quit jumping. My to bad, the- man. He's- All right, you know what I'm saying? All right, yeah. We leave it alone. My man. bad. You should have. You shouldn't have told Cookie us. Chris. I got a box of Fruity Pebbles on deck. <laughs> For cheat days, <laughs> this nigga, this nigga you know I don't eat this that get, stuff on a regular, but let's get you a box of chips ahoy mm-hmm. and then just toss them in. The- <laughs> oh, this dude, Cook- yeah, he said he'll eat cookie crisp. Like, man, cookie crisp is the shit, cookie- man. Cookie- 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 Ain't no difference in all this other sugary stuff. You know what yeah, I've not. I don't. I don't think fresh. I've they all expired eaten. now. <laughs> Shit, they was Travis, all over con, man. I seen some of them damn boxes this weekend. Travis Scott, I got a, I got a box. Little of Yachty joints. Oh yeah, he is he on the one now? I got a box. I got a couple. I might grab one He's, of those. There's a four pack. There's a, it's a set need, of four. I don't need all four of them. Yeah, I, so like, I, I think when you take the back, it's like an image or some ish. Uh, yeah, man. I got you know, you open up random cabinets and there's the Travis joints. Yeah, I put, so I, just, I don't know, don't ask. Me. I just saran wrapped them. I gave, I gave those away too. What I got them in like um, in a case, okay. You have like a cereal box case that you can that you can get. I forgot where I got it from Amazon, Container Store, one of those. Yeah, I'm Golden Crisp Smacks, Sugar Smacks. Man, sugar sugar smacks smacks was that, uh, that was the one with the frog nasty. on it, right? No, yes, yeah, sir. A, and the bear. Yeah, yeah. The the Golden Crisp is the bear, but then Sugar Smacks had the frog. The nastiest cereal is between any type of mini wheats and <laughs> our shredded wheat 
Yeah, and, any uh, wheat shred, shredded wheat is nasty, and then so is man. They had this cer- cereal called the circus, and I was like, Oh man, this cereal looks good. You know, I had my dad went and got it. I took I got in one bowl and I was like, Oh, these are nasty. He's like, Well, you're gonna eat the whole you box. I'm like, Man, damn it. Oh. <laughs> damn it to hell. <laughs> <laughs> you made me eat that whole damn box, man. I was like, yo. Lucky like, Charms. Lucky Charms on point. Yes, sir. And unless, unless you get all the, uh, if you get it to where you get all the uh, the marshmallows out, then it's a, it's a no-no. Uh, mm. My daughter, she be digging in the box. Man, <laughs> y'all just eat everything because I ain't heard a half of this shit. What the fuck is King Vitamin? What oh, that's old school. What the hell is that? I think it was uh King Vitamin was like uh, Captain Crunch before Captain Crunch came out. Man, I think I think have... Yeah, I think King King Vitamin. Yeah, his, that's old school. Why don't I seen it in my 80s group? Somebody had posted it. I remember Donkey Kong cereal was on point too back in the day. A lot of these cereals the same damn cereal with a different nigga on them. That got me <laughs> <laughs> Why say it like that though? Damn. Uh... <laughs> King Vitamin, well, King That's Vitamin. Funny. You got that, me Googling cereals and shit, right? Is, right. That, is that in the bag? Is, he said it's the Wix cereal. <laughs> the Wix cereal. <laughs> Cord pops. Uh, oh, honeycombs. What are those kind of cereals that lower honeycombs your sperm? I can't be first kick this damn booty O's. <laughs> oh, they do got a booty O's. Yeah, that's oh, the Oh, Lord. Uh, that's they the, do the got wrestlers. booty O's. I seen it. Yeah, I the seen that. Uh, I seen that Meyer. I was like, what the hell? What's that name? New Day. That's new day. Yeah, it's like, yeah. I'm not eating to, that. I need to see if I can uh use that booty O's part of my logo. What? Booty O's. Oh, new, new booty O's. <laughs> new booty O's. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. New oh, booty man. All right, all right. Let's wrap, let's wrap this up. <laughs> all right. Jesus Christ. Well, go ahead, Ma. You you up first. I bet. Well, uh, usual suspects. Yeah, no, I appreciate y'all kicking it with us. And um, you know, I had a great time as always, fellas. Much appreciated. Uh, sad a little bit that I missed out on the con. I had a lo- little minor FOMO. And then once I actually thought about being around people, I was kind of like, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, same deal. I could have went to the to the Nets playoff game. And I was like, that sounds like a really good idea. But no. <laughs> uh, yeah. But slowly but surely, I'll get back out there. Uh, I don't know if they are actually – uh, talking about having one in Atlanta, but that's one I wouldn't mind going to. Always love, you know, hitting up Atlanta. So um, definitely excited to check that out. You know, Marcus had touched upon, um, you know, what happened with I Love Swoosh with Marco uh, this past, you know, Saturday. Um, you know, very sad for him, his family, you know, his uh, his niece. And uh, there is a uh, a GoFundMe. I, I'm pretty sure it was uh, Phil Locker that, that started or, or someone affiliated with the companies in Phil Locker family. So if you can, I posted my story, right? You know, every little bit is going to help uh, toward um, you know, taking care of affairs for, for the family and such. So, you know, with that, you know, everybody be careful out there, man. You never know what's going on. So, you know, st- P's and Q's and, you know, uh, stay around good folks and you know what I'm saying like just just spread love. You know what I'm saying we joke around and it might sound like hey it's really just jokes. You know what I'm saying like we care about everybody and we wish the best for everyone. So as I said many many times, right? Stay safe, be well. All right, all right. So let me go ahead and uh, and and follow that up. Um, rest in peace uh, to I love Swoosh man. Let's uh, let's sad to see it. and then you see so many people um you know in the community you know that are affected by it and you know the what actually went down or you know what's being reported is just mm-hmm. man it's appalling man you know so we just we got to get back to loving each other but let me go ahead and um let me do this here did we did anybody shout us out kb kb always comes through definitely yes, appreciate sir. You. we need to get you know we need to get back on our game where we're uh you know we're shouting. Yeah, I, I got I uh, earlier. Yeah, get the hashtag <laughs> back, man. It made it so easy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we'll do. Yeah. We'll, we'll we'll get that cracking, man. Hashtag we heroes. Take, get some uh, some time and uh, and put that together. I wish they would do some more plugins for this for this uh, interface here, so we could do some more things. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, but definitely appreciate you guys coming out and uh, supporting the show, chopping it up with us um come back next week hit the hit the like button hit the dislike button whatever you feel that you uh want to give up uh but yeah uh hit us up 
Come see us uh, next week, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pass it to uh, Mr. Marcus. All right, I'm, I'm gonna be a little long with, with, with mine. Uh, first of all, like everybody said, rest in peace, Marco. I love swoosh, you know, very tragic what happened, you know. So, that it just goes to show you that we need to just start showing more love in the sneaker community than, than what's out there. We need to, you know. Uh, appreciate and hug each other when we get that opportunity i, I did that this weekend and and it, it made me feel really good to be able to do that so we need to get back to that uh <clears throat> and also just show love to the other shows i mean for one i gotta show love to y'all for coming in the chat it's it's several youtube shows out there now and we all bump each other in time and stuff like that and cross each other and the fact that y'all still come through here and hang with us you know that means a lot you know that y'all give you our time to, to hang out with us because you know Y'all could be anywhere. Y'all could be watching any show. So thank you, you know, and just shout out to the other shows, especially the people who are in here, you know, Hop Dog and, and uh, Black Ass African on Retro Talk Forum, you know, Michelle and, and uh, damn, your crew so big. It'd be hard to remember. E-Money. E-Money and PM Kicks and McFly, McFly on Who Has the Heat. Man, I I missed the battle this weekend, but who in the finals? Who, who, in, who uh, in the finals? Uh, is it Chill Town against? Chill Town to Carlo? Yeah, so definitely check that out because that's going to be a dope battle. I mean, both of those guys got massive heat. Uh, who else? I mean, Dre Jungles and, and Trap House, they got their stuff going on. I think the female battle started tonight. You know, IBA mm-hmm. doing this thing. I mean, I, I want to show love mm-hmm. and shout out everybody. It's hard to get everybody, but, man, we just, again, we just got to get back to networking because, I mean, really when you look at it, you know, the, the black channels with, you know, the predominantly, you know, Black channels don't get that kind of love. So we got to start Chill Town. Okay, Chill Town to Carlo. Okay. And shout out to Chill Town as well. Go check him out. Go check everybody out who I named. Like, go check him out on, on, on YouTube. Because again, we got we to gotta start coming together and supporting all of us because we don't have that big shine like a lot of these other people. You know, it's guys who came up last year who are not of our color. And I'm not being discriminatory at all, but who blew up. And we got to do the same thing for each other. We got to start blowing each other up so awesome. you know much 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 love to everybody and let, let's just keep showing love and keep growing every channel that we can man because we all in this shit together it's enough room for for everybody so no facts with that being said man thank y'all again for coming out appreciate you and we will see y'all next week bring y'all cereal with you if you like toast intolerant get some uh almond milk Peace. Yeah.